Hey guys, what is up? Crazy Cow here. Bring you. This is Minecraft, but this is a Overwatch themed video. And the gameplay is not really meaningful. I just chose to do Minecraft because it doesn't take much skill. I'm just going to be building stuff. But I'm going to be talking about overall summary of my uh, season 4 experience. Alright, so I started off, I solo queued, um, I solo queued my placements, and I went 2-8. and eight. Now, straight off the bat, I was like, man, this season's not going to go well. And I ended up at 2,300 after placements. And so, with that, I was just browsing YouTube one day, and... I came along a video by Nateson. He's a big YouTuber relative to me. And he said that if you're gold, like I know, I knew I was better than a gold. And so, um, I knew I was better than a gold. So I, I knew I was going to get a plat at least. But in his video, he was like, don't just aim for the next tier higher aim like set big goals so if you're in gold don't just go for uh plat go for diamond even master and so i really took that seriously and so i'm gonna say excuse me so i took that seriously and i ended up solo queuing to um uh, platinum and from there I started playing with uh, all days plays sorry I have a little bit of a cold so I'm coughing yeah so I started playing with all days plays and he was already a diamond and so I was like yeah I want to hit diamond also um And so, we started duo queuing. And during this time, I became a Mercy main. And this is like, after doing, I always liked Mercy and how like her concept was. Because like, it's pretty cool being a hero. That's... <clears throat> Sorry for all these pauses. <clears throat> My throat is just dead. Yeah, but like, Mercy like really appealed to me because if if you're if you can't decide your main, y you should become a support main because teammates don't really complain about you being a support main. Um. Oh yeah, that's for my SR guys. I didn't hit master. Spoiler alert. Um. So I solo queued up to plat, became a mercy main, and me and Jackson, all days plays, we, he was at like 2800, which is high plat, and I was at like low plat-ish, and so we started duo queuing, and we made it all the way up to diamond, and so I ended up with like 30 something hours on mercy, um, So I had 30 hours on Mercy, and I, I got pretty good at her. And then me and Jackson were, were literally so close to hitting Master. But then he had to leave in the middle of a match, which cost us our win streak. We had, like, a pretty nice win streak going. Sorry. My throat. Yeah, so... Um, we lost that, and so after that, it was kind of like, our push was kind of dead in the water, we weren't going anywhere, it was kind of a lull, I guess, if that's, is that's how you properly use that word. 
lull in our SR gain or loss. We just kept winning one, losing one. And so, then we decided to queue with Weeba Main, aka Argon, aka IAJ, which is a top 500 Smurf that uses keyboard and mouse. Um, and so, that's when I hit my highest. Um, the only thing I regret about this season was, um, um, uh, not, like, solo queuing when I was lower. Like, me and Jackson only played together, but he was already higher than me, so he hit master, and I ended up three SR away. Which is really unfortunate. Yeah, so if I had solo queued and won, that would have been very f fortunate, and I probably would have hit master. Um, I have notes right here. I don't know why I'm reading them. Yeah, that's my final SR. Um, I hit 3497 with the trio Q. All days place hit master. Weeboo's a top 500, doesn't matter. Um, and so after that, I dropped. And. Like during the final days, like no one would. Like people I was queuing with, like stopped queuing with me. So I had to solo queue, and it I just didn't go anywhere. And so, <clears throat> overall, this season, I learned that if your teammates suck and they install a Hanzo, Widow, or something that doesn't, or isn't meta, just, like, try to build a comp around them. Like, if you're going to lose anyways, why not, like... If you choose a normal comp and they just don't fit at all, it's basically a 5v6 the whole time. Oh, sorry, my throat. <clears throat> but if you win, or if you make a comp that goes around them, it'd be a 6v6, but you'd have a weaker comp. But a 6v6 with a weaker comp is better than a 5v6. So, um, that's also something I learned. Um... Also, I'd like to... Actually, I already thanked, uh... Nateson. And he told me to... Not only strive for Diamond, to, but also hit... Master, which I unfortunately couldn't do. And my... Oh, sorry, my throat. In my... In my heart, I, I would consider myself a Master. I have the skill... The SR just didn't line up for me. Ended up 3497. <coughs> and so, also, if, if this is back to the mains, you're, <coughs> so sorry. Like, don't be a defensive hero main. People just get mad at you, and it does not get anyone anywhere. I get it, like, maybe if you're, like, a Junkrat main and you only play on defense, which is good. But, like, and if your main's getting countered, you need to, like... Find out what counters your main, and then counter that person. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if you're playing, you're a Junkrat main, and Farrah counters you, maybe you should learn how to play Soldier McCree. So, when they counter you, you can counter them back. 
that's a little bit of advice. Um, also, if you get bad, like, uh, placement matches, don't give up. Like, I was really tempted to, like, give up on the season and not play it at all, but, like, I just, I was going in, like, I had four golds every game in Zarya, and so, like, so I just kept climbing, climbing, until I started playing with all days, and then we climbed in Master, so, even if you're in bronze, and if you, if you can, if in your heart, you, you know you're better, just, like, climb carry the team or whatever I was carrying a Zarya and Mercy literally I became known for my Roadhog 1v1s and my Soldier 1v1s like they'd come at me I would destroy them like, it, like even if they had their healing and stuff I would destroy like 90% of the soldier and roadhogs because I got so good at mercy and like learn who you're playing learn their weaknesses and their strengths and be confident because like when I first started playing mercy I I was taught to like oh heal 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 not really do anything else and when that's that's not true. You gotta find out stuff for yourself. If someone like tells you to play Lucio, if like you're lower ranked than them, don't play Lucio. Do whatever you're comfortable with. Cause most of the time <clears throat> As long as you're like if you if your aim isn't trash like, what I mean by that is, like, if you can sufficiently, like, not be beaten in 1v1s, I guess, if against the same hero, you, you could be, ah, uh, actually, that's, that's not a good example, um, trying, I'm trying to figure out what I'm trying to say, um, my throat's hurting still. Like, um, you're, huh, oh yeah, so, like, if you, if your teammates try to tell you to, what to do, voice yourself, like, be like, if they try to force you on Lucio, cause, like, they're, like, DPS main, or something, uh, I didn't think higher rank, so they're like, oh yeah, I have better aim because I'm a higher rank. That's not true at all. Like I said, I 1v1 Grandmaster Soldiers as Mercy. I'm a Diamond Mercy. And so, like, that, that's saying something. Like, you can't really judge a book by its cover, I guess, when it comes to rank, I guess. Because, sorry this video is going on so long, I should just end it and do make another video. Um, don't judge your book by its cover, and like, if someone's not doing well, and it's like, hey man, like this is how I approach it, I'm like, I've noticed that like, you're not really doing as well as you could be. Uh, if you switch to someone else, that'd be like a better counter. Let's say you have a a diva on tank, and like they have a Zarya. Be like, hey diva, I think it'd be like you're doing good and all. It's just like I feel like you could do so much better if you went road instead of being like diva, get off of get off your trash, go to road. And so. Um,
play what you're comfortable. That, that's what I'm trying to say. Sorry that took like five minutes to say. Play what you're comfortable with. Fire ranks tell you to do something you're not comfortable with. Just like go with what you're comfortable with. And I think <coughs> that's gonna do it for this video. Carson, you're a faggot. Why'd you have to get me sick? <laughs>